Hey everyone, an update on the uh, Audiotronics 300E Classroom Record Player, serial number 388230. I got it working again. Had some issues getting it working. The first replacement needle I bought, which is for all speeds, 16, 33, 45, 78, dual tip, sapphire, must have been was defective. It wouldn't when I first put the needle in. I had to turn the volume all the way up in order to hear it. It wouldn't play the first half of a 33 record. And if I tried to put a weight on it for the first half, the needle would just would just go like this right across the record, just skate. And then for the second half, it would just skip unless I put the weight back on it. And I had to wiggle the needle in order to get the sound to come back up to proper levels. The replacement needle is model 911-SS73. And it's a replacement for a static 89T, which is the original needle in here. I don't know if you can see this or not, if the camera focuses or not. Let's see if it wants to focus. It don't want to focus, but brown one on the bottom if you can make out the colors that's that was the original needle that was in it or original equipment manufactured needle the black is the replacement now the brown one was slightly bent and the black one seemed like it was slightly shorter but it was the correct model so it's probably just defective and it was made in switzerland the replacement one so the needle that's currently in it is, is diamond, but it only plays 16, 33s, and 45s only. I bought that just to test it to see if maybe the tone armor is defective, but it plays flawlessly now. I don't have to put any weight on the arm. The replacement needle here is currently installed. I don't know how far I can get to this where the camera will focus. Pause if you want to read it. 911-D7. So if I want to place 78s in here, I'll order a separate 78 needle and I can just pop the needles out and just switch in between. I got another Audiotronics model on the way which also plays 78s, so I could just put a label on here, LPs only. Because if I keep switching needles out, you know, there's a chance it could get damaged. It's not meant to be handled. But anyway, so I can't, so I'm not going to play any 78s on this thing right now because that needle's not made for 78s. It's for 16s, 33s, and 45s only. But I got it working. So let's try this. I'm going to play a couple seconds because YouTube police. Enough of that. It's even one second of audio and they get their panties in a knot. Turn it on so I can switch it to uh, 45s because it has to be rotating in order to switch it. It's so now for the uh, 45. Hang on here, get this.
See, no problems at all now. No weight, no nothing on the tone arm. It's not skipping, it's not skating, it's not vibrating. It does what it's fucking supposed to. Now if you notice here, wiggle, 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 wiggle. The feet that support it are shock absorbers. They got springs on it. And it does have a lid. Now I can do a proper video on the damn thing because it works now. And it latches on there. So, that's it for this one. It's now working properly. Though when I first got it, as I mentioned in another video, I had to adjust the idle wheel spring because it would spin up the speed, but as soon as you put the needle on it, the speed would drop. So I had to adjust that to get that to, so it would play at the right speed, and now everything's working good on it again. And if I want to play 78s in here, I'll just have to take this needle out and put the 78 one in. So I couldn't find a dual tip where the LP side was diamond and the 78 side was sapphire. That's discontinued. So it's either dual tip sapphire and it don't work with the dual tip. So, but if I have to swap needles, I have to swap needles. I got another one on the way to play 78, so stay tuned for a video on that whenever it arrives. Thanks for watching.